Okay, so you want to learn more about this thing, the redstone comparator. What this is, is a device which will take a reading from a container. In this case, we're going to use a chest. And once that chest is filled to a percentage, uh, it will output a redstone signal. So if we put one stack in here, you will see that that now lights up. And there is a weak signal of redstone coming out of here. Now, if we were to go ahead and put this into a block, that then transfers over to that same block, but it is still the same signal strength. At this point, if you only want it to trigger something when there is a minimal amount of items in there, it doesn't even have to be a stack. It can just be basically one, one item of a stackable item. Then you just put a redstone repeater there and that will obviously increase the signal strength to 15, which is the maximum uh, redstone signal strength that you can have. Now the most common use case for the comparator is to compare signal from another container. So if we put in two stacks into this container, that will then light up. And if we put one stack in here, you will see that the redstone comparator on this chest here is not lighting up. But if we load that up with two, then the signal is the same as what it would, would have been if this was not there. Now, if you want to uh, compare this so that if you have one stack in here and two stacks in here, let's say, and you want to subtract whatever is in this container, so compare it to this container and output a signal that is equivalent to that strength, you would then click the inverter there and what that does is then it takes this comparator, which is reading the signal from this container, and it subtracts it from this one, which is two stacks, right? A common use case for the comparator is if you have some automatic farms and you want to connect those farms to a storage system. So then what you would do is you would have a hopper running into a dropper uh, you can take the output signal here and set up, basically just we'll set up an automatic uh, a dropper, a dropper clock here with some observers. So if we just set up the observers like so, um, with the output facing into the dropper and then have a way to trigger that with uh, a piston. So we'll just do something basic like this and get some redstone out here. So that when this has items in it, it can be pumping those items out into your water stream or hoppers or anything that you want to use to transport those items. Basically anything that can hold an item can be read by the comparator. So we've got the chest, obviously trap chests are included, the barrel, the hopper, the dropper, the dispenser, even a jukebox can detect whether a CD is in there and playing. The composter can detect how full it is of wheat. The cauldron can detect how full of water it is. So if you take little bits out with glass bottles, the signal strength will get weaker. You've got the decorated pot. Mine carts on a detect detector rail will uh, detect if an item is in there. And even daylight sensors, so these will, if it's on day mode, it'll detect what time of day it is and output a signal strength depending on that. And if it's on night mode, the same thing, but depending on what time of night it is. So when it comes to comparing the signal strength, I've got a full chest of cobbled deep slate here. So this would be outputting a signal strength of 15. I've only got it five blocks away, but it doesn't have to be a uh, another another vessel that you're comparing this with. You can compare this with any redstone signal. So if we have a signal of 15 going into that, then that's going to negate that because we are on the subtract mode. So that's subtracting 15 from 15, which is zero. Now, if it doesn't also have to be on the same side, so the compare circuit can be on either side. So I've extended the signal to 15 and the lamp is on just to illustrate a little bit of a point here as well, because if you go a little bit away from this and put in your redstone torch, you'll see that we're now only getting two of these redstone dust illuminated. 
And the further we put the torch away, let's just put it all the way over here, the weaker this signal coming from the torch will be, and the stronger the signal from the chest comparator will be. So you can really get creative with this depending on your use case. There's a lot of different circuits that you can build with the comparator. And all it really takes is a bit of creativity and a lot of math. I hope you enjoyed this short five minute video on how comparators work and I hope it helps you with your circuits in Redstone. Until then guys, happy playing and I'll see you in the next video. If you like this one, please subscribe and be sure to leave a like. Ciao for now.